Hello everyone. So today I want to talk about what masking is for me. Uh, masking or camouflaging, I guess they, they also call it. Um, now I'm learning a lot about this, only my perspective of myself. Happy to hear any comments, input, whatever it may be. But, so masking. Masking is when you uh, essentially, how can I explain this in my language? Essentially, when you know there's something you do that you do normally uh, for yourself, or that's not right. You do something normally. Like, for example, you dance around a lot. I dance around the house a lot listening to my music. There, I said it. So I'm no longer masking that. I'm hiding around. I'm just all over the place in the house, dancing, having a good time while I'm doing my work. So, but I've never really shared that with people because people make fun of you for those things. And I've always had a rejection issue. So if somebody makes fun of that, then I might stop doing it just because I perceive that I'm being made fun of or something to that effect. Now, this starts as a kid. It's a real mind fuck as a child. Just let's focus on that. Because if you're a child, say three, four years old, and somebody says something about, like, for example, when I was six, seven years old, somebody told me that my laugh was silly. And although it probably wasn't that really bad of a comment, but it stuck with me. That was, I was like six, seven years old. And it's still sticking with me to this day that someone said, your laugh is silly. So I tried to change the way I laughed or... That's one example. So there's lots and lots of examples though. If there's something that a child is doing and their parents give them a hard time for it, they, they don't really, it's them, it's their true self, but they don't want to be reprimanded or told they're weird or goofy or silly or whatever because it hurts their feelings. So keep that in mind that there's people out there masking and it gets to be, as an adult, it just gets to be exhausting to try to be what you think everyone else wants you to be as opposed to just being your yourself. And I've said it before, I'm a weird guy. I'm embracing my weird now. I'm a weird son bitch and I'm gonna enjoy every moment of being weird. And if people don't like it, tough. Because for 46 years of my life, I hid everything that people said was weird. Or I did things because I thought that's what people wanted me to do. For example, I'm really not that big on sports. Unpopular opinion. I used to love and watch baseball, but now I just see it as it really is, as I've really always felt, is it's just a bunch of people getting paid a whole bunch of money to play a kid's game. And I'd rather do something to help people out. So I'm just not into it anymore. It's, I mean, it's not a slight on baseball. Baseball's a great sport, but it's not for me. But I did it because I thought, that's what everybody was doing. They were watching football or whatever, and that's what I should be doing. Not my thing. I'd rather go to an art fair or a concert or something to that nature. So that's how I mask. I hide myself. And the reality is, if you know me or knew me, um, there's a really, really good chance you don't know me. Because I was doing things that I thought would keep you around as a friend or things that I thought people wanted me to do. And if I'm being honest, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm not sure I know me myself. <laughs> so, uh, I knew this one might get a little rough. Um, so the moral is <clears throat> don't force people to mask. If you think their laugh is silly, shut up. If you think dancing around the house is silly, shut up. Whatever it may be, support them. Don't try to stop them from being who they are. It's not affecting you in any way. Get over it. Okay. That's me and masking. Have a wonderful day. Love you all.